The Battle of Kharkov, 1943. In 1942, Soviet troops tried twice to liberate Kharkov, but failed both times. The year 1943 has come. German troops suffered a crushing defeat in Stalingrad, where they lost a huge number of soldiers and equipment. The 6th Army of Paulus was completely destroyed. German troops retreated to the west, and the Soviet command received additional forces at its disposal, which were released after the end of the Battle of Stalingrad. The Soviet headquarters decided that the German army was completely demoralized and had lost the ability to resist. The decision was made to launch a major offensive. Stalin wanted to take Kursk, Kharkov, and further drive the Germans to the west. <sighs> Kamarade Zukov, where does this foreigner get so much information from? Who let him in here? Is he even a communist? Um, uh, one photo for memory, and I'll leave. <sighs> of course you will leave to the Gulag, and there, in the Gulag, you will tell us everything. Uh, excuse me, I have to go now. But the situation was not so beautiful. The troops were tired after the fighting. There were no reinforcements, reserves, or supplies. The field commanders thought that their task was only to launch an offensive against Kharkov. And then, fresh new forces would go into battle. However, it soon became clear that there were no fresh forces. defend the city of Kharkov to the last soldier, to the last bullet.
After the defeat at Stalingrad, a second defeat near Kharkov could not be allowed. This would deal a death blow to German prestige and to the morale of the soldiers on the whole front. Der alte Mann hat recht. Tcharkov darf nicht übergeben werden. Ich gebe den Befehl, Tcharkov bis zum letzten Soldat zu verteidigen. But Gruppenführer Hauser did not obey Hitler's direct order and left Kharkov. He was afraid of encirclement and decided it was better to keep the soldiers alive for future battles. The Germans stopped the resistance and left the city. Soviet troops occupied Kharkov and continued their rapid advance, not realizing that they were falling into a trap.